Louisiana Living on Fox 14 continues. And welcome back. I'm here with Mark K. Russell, and we're here to talk about eggs. Close to Easter. Yes. Good segment. Very timely. Yes. Uh, Mark K., how is the best way to safely handle and store eggs? Well, as you know, eggs are perishable, so mm -hmm. they should be handled properly and stored. When you go to the store to buy them, always buy in a refrigerated case. You want to make sure, you know, check your eggs, make sure they're not cracked or they're dirty. Mm -hmm. And then also you want to go straight home with them and put them in your refrigerator. And you want to store them in the coldest part of your refrigerator, not in the door. I so, didn't know that. Yes. Um, one reason is that is because when you continuously open and close the door, you're letting that, that warmth there. Mm -hmm. So you always want to store your eggs in the colder part of your refrigerator. Is there a nutritional difference between brown eggs and white eggs? No, there's not. There's no nutritional value difference between the two. The only difference is it's got to do with the breed of that chicken. It's the, to the color of the egg. So there's no nutritional difference. Now, um, the yolk, sometimes you'll find in the yolk of an egg darker than the other. That's got to do with the pigment of the plant of the, of the hen's feed that they're eating. So that's why sometimes your yolk may be darker than the other. And what is the nutritional difference between the yolk and the egg white? Which one is best for you or is there? One that's good. To, that's, that is a very good question. A lot of people debate about that. The yolk is actually is where all your vitamins and minerals come from. It also does have, that's where your cholesterol and more fat is mm -hmm. in your yolk. And your egg white is going to be the less fat, cholesterol free, and it's more protein in the white. So you really need, honestly, the whole egg to eat the whole egg um, because the yolk is where you're going to get your vitamin and minerals from. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the white is where you get your protein and it's less, you know, lower cholesterol. So, you know, it depends on, you know, really what your diet is. What is the difference between the uh, egg size and the grade? What is the purpose of The that? purpose of it, that's mm -hmm. um, actually the size has got to just do with the weight of the egg. Mm -hmm. And then the grade has got to do with the quality of the egg. Um, eggs are porous, so that is based on the quality, how well the egg is and that's why you get the different grades of an egg. Which grade should, should you pick? Um, really grade A is fine mm -hmm. um, and it's got it but really it's got to do with more of to your size of your eggs. Mm -hmm. um, when you're looking for needing to know what size eggs um, I normally buy large eggs but your large egg your Got the sizes of your eggs is too got to do with the, how old your chicken, your hen is. Mm -hmm. um, the older your hen, the larger your eggs will be. So, Real quick, what about fresh eggs that people give you? Should you refrigerate those as well? Yes, definitely. As soon as you harvest your fresh eggs, they need to be refrigerated. And you need to, um, honestly, you don't wash eggs because the egg are eggs are porous and they have a, um, a coating around them that protects them. So when you wash your eggs, you're washing that coat away and you're allowing bacteria to get into your eggs. Oh, okay. So Good you can contaminate your eggs, yes. Mark, hey, thank you so much for so, coming on the welcome. show. It was great to have you. Thank and you. coming up next, we'll tell you about your well-behaved pup and how he can have a day in the garden just ahead. Stay with us. Trade names are used by the LSU Ag Center for clarity and information purposes only. Neither commercial endorsement of specific products nor a recommendation to the exclusion of similar products is implied.